Hey, what's going on? Short video? Just want to give a quick thought on something. Okay? My name is Trey Wilkins, and what can I change? Let's talk about Miss Yasmin Benwat. Step to the table, MSC. This individual says, asexual people deserve equal rights. We deserve legal recognition. We deserve protection. Thank you, at Stonewall, for allowing me to march with you again at Pride in London today. What? Today? You know, first, it just never stops, does it? Uh, today, for helping me bring about this change. This is what asexual looks like. Anybody in this picture could be asexual. What do you mean this is what it looks like? You're just a black, I'm assuming short, individual wearing leather. You know what's so crazy about this kind of stuff? Somebody had put on Twitter as well. They were like, these people want to be oppressed so bad. And you know what my opinion is on that? <laughs> is, uh, I think we all do want to be oppressed. I agree. I think all of us sometimes are looking for a reason to be down. We just spoke about going from rags to riches, <laughs> rags to riches, rags to riches. It, a lot of us want that story. A lot of us just want to feel like we were at the bottom. Everybody hated us. And like you said, Javon, we're all here. A lot of us want that. Started from the bottom, now I'm here. No matter where we started. We could have started a millionaire, a millionaire's child. And be like, I know I started on a millionaire's child, but nobody believed in me. What? People always say that. Nobody believed in me. That's something you guys probably never, ever hear me say, is that nobody believed in me, because that is far from the truth. If I ever succeed on uh, YouTube or live streaming or anything, I guarantee you people would not be surprised because people know that I'm a talker. I've been making videos since I was a child. People would not be surprised if I made it as a video person and they would not be like, I always thought he was a failure. I don't know anybody. I don't know. Only person I could think of in my life that uh, I won't name this person, but I can only think of like one individual who was never on my side with this stuff. But even then, I wouldn't call that person a hater. I would call that person being like, you know, Trey, you're in your 30s and you really haven't accomplished a whole lot. I would agree with them. So this whole concept of everybody trying to oppress you, everybody's always trying to get you down. Her story, I'm an asexual, but I can still be successful. Of course, you're just a person who is repulsed by the repulsed by sex. OK, that doesn't make you special. That, that sounds like trauma to me. Not all people who are asexual are traumatized by sex, but from what I've heard, and I've read a lot into asexuality, by the way, these people literally just don't want sex. They want they want to have romance. They want all the emotions. They want to date people. They just don't want the sex part of it. That sounds like somebody who's traumatized to me, uh, somebody who's willing to get married and not have sex. Um, something probably happened in their past, and I'm not, look, I'm not here to say what is right or wrong. They can go to therapy and figure that all out, Okay. But what I am here to say is that people just, what do you mean equal rights? We deserve equal. What rights do you need? Just because you're not having sex. Like what right did they take from you when you're a person who doesn't have sex? Like, are you telling me there's rights that virgin people don't have? I'm sure this person probably had sex, but now they're calling themselves asexual. Who knows? But are there rights that people who are virgins don't have or people who don't have sex have? Like I talked about this also with the Charlemagne video. Um, it's like, at this point, it's just, to me, it's like, what do you want? People really want to live in a perfect society. We are never going to live in a perfect society. People want to live in a society that's not racist, not transphobic, not homophobic. Um, they want everybody to do whatever they want, go into whatever bathrooms. People want to talk about whatever they want to, but they don't want to listen to whatever they want to. People want you, People want freedom of speech, but they also want certain people censored. Um, they want to walk around naked in front of children, but they also don't want to um, be called out on it. I mean, it's just like, dang, do y'all want like, do y'all want the whole world? You understand that this is a uh, infinite. This is not a infinite life. This is a finite life. One of these days, we're all gonna see the grave. And just me, me, in my opinion, people who think that this is it, like, if they don't get everything in their life today or this year or this in the next five years if they don't get everything they want in this life they're going to be miserable y'all are living for something so small to me we are living for something so small if we think that if we don't get everything we want in this life that life was meaningless 
No, life starts after this, guys. But let me not go into that. But let me say this. Life isn't about getting everything you want. It's about living with what you got. We're not all going to get what we want. It's just impossible. It's impossible. Like everybody wants to be a millionaire. But if everybody was a millionaire, then there'd be people who will be multimillionaires. There'll be people who were trillionaires. Like everybody wants all the money. They want all the fame. They want all the recognition. They want all the rights. What are you talking about? Listen, you're not talking about a right anymore. Most people want a privilege. Like I'm black, right? Black people for me may think that it's, I should have privileges because I'm black. Just because at some point in life we had slaves. You know who else has slaves? Native Americans. You know who else has slaves? Arabs. You know who else was enslaved? They don't want to talk about it. White people. You don't think there were white slaves? Y'all don't care though. Because all we care about is the fact that there was black slaves. You know what I'm saying? It's like, so I should get money for that. I should get reparations. I should be able to live my life as a hooligan. I should be able to do whatever I'm black. Anytime I get arrested, it's because I'm traumatized by years of slavery that had nothing to do with me that I'm not even close to knowing about. Oh my gosh. It's just, people just want, people look back on anything and it's, it's true of everybody. It's not even a black thing. Like I said, we got people who are trans. They're like, oh, trans people have always been, you got gay people. Oh my God. You know, back then they didn't accept gays. So I should be, then you got people who are asexual. Oh my gosh. I, I don't have sex with people. So I should, it's just like, oh my Lord. Y'all look on back on every single thing. Y'all look at every time there was an injustice in America. People are like, well, I deserve, I deserve better. You deserve what you got. If you want to live in some perfect utopia, you go build a country yourself then. You go figure it out. And I guarantee you, it's going to be trash. <laughs> it's going to be trash. Because you know why? Because there's going to be people in there. And as long as humans exist together, there's going to be evil. There's going to be good. There's going to be the delusional. There's going to be the mentally ill. There's going to be the normal people. There's going to be the obese people. There's going to be the, um, there's going to be the muscle guys. right? There's going to be the turfs, as you would say, there's going to be biological women. There's going to be um, non-biological males who call themselves men. It's just always going to be a goofy circus at the end of the day. It's always going to be a circus because people believe what they believe. But one thing I'll never give into is I'm oppressed, so I deserve the world. The world don't owe you jack. People just want to be born into. I don't even think people know what they want. Like if I if you ask me, Trey, if you could have anything you wanted in this life, what would it be? I can only give you one answer. I just hope I live and die for God. That's it. That's if that's the only thing I could ever have is to live and die for God. Anything else can happen. I could end up homeless on the streets. I could, um, you know, I could I could deal with some disease that ruins the rest of my life. But if I live and die for God, is what it is. You know what I mean? And I'm obviously saying that from a place of health. I'm obviously saying that from a place who a man who has a house, uh, house over his head, a house over his head, a roof over my head. So it's obviously easy for me to say this stuff, but I'm just, that's if I could have it all, that's just, that's just my honest opinion. If I could have anything in this life, it's, it would be to live and die for God. That's it. I don't need anything else. As long as that happens, my life was fulfilled because that's all I ever want is to be loved by the father and for me to live because of that love. All right, let me get out of that. <laughs> let me get out of that. I'm done. And let me know what y'all think. Do you asexual people not have rights? Um, is this what asexual looks like, a black woman? <laughs> I'm just so done, man. Peace. I didn't show a full video, so let me show a full thing. Goodbye. <laughs>